Is it acceptable to allow your natural body hair to grow if you're a woman? Well, there's one Pakistani American artist who's trying to make a point about how letting it all grow out is totally acceptable and should be the social norm. So her art's actually really interesting. I want to show you a few examples of that. She shows images of beautiful women who, you know, have body hair in places that have been deemed undesirable by society. And here's what she has to say about this. First of all, her name is Aika Khan. And she says, I would often receive negative comments from friends and family members who try to instill this idea that body hair is unnatural to show and unfeminine-like. When this happened, it forced the idea of how the removal of body hair is just a conditioning act done by society. I began to turn inward and dealt with this frustration creatively. It's important for me to normalize body hair because it is something that shouldn't be a huge deal considering body hair is natural and the removal of it is a social construct. Now, I, look, I, I guess the reason why I kind of had like a knee-jerk reaction to this story to begin with is because... I feel like people should be able to just do what they want. So if you want to let your body hair grow, cool. But why does it have to be the social norm, right? Like, I don't want to feel pressure as a woman and as a progressive woman to be like, yeah, hairy armpits. I don't like hairy armpits, right? And I, I'm not judging people who let their armpit grow. I, have at it. I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm glad that you feel comfortable in your own skin. But I also don't like demonizing people who just aren't into it. And I feel like you get a little bit of that with, with campaigns. Not her campaign. I think her campaign's great because she's not being judgmental at all. But this, like, pressure to, like, accept it, it's beautiful. I don't, I'm not into it. And it doesn't make you a bad person if you're not. At least I don't think so. Yeah, I, I applaud her efforts as yeah. well, especially for a, a young 20-year-old artist from South Asian descent. I think she is opening up a conversation or a space. So I'm all for expanding the different modalities of being. Yes. And for me, I'm not within that modality of being. <laughs> I come from a culture of ancient practices of sugaring, and I'm just one who is very, very susceptible to waxing myself. Um, I, I wax myself. So mm -hmm. that, that's, how, that's how much I don't like body hair. <laughs> and so it's, it's interesting because I think the, the other thing that this brings up, as you mentioned, I know that underarm hair um, is now coming back in, I guess. Yeah. Um, and it was, even, it, it was even said in a comment to this young artist that thank you for glamorizing the unglamorized places and it mentioned that underarm hair growing it back is a glamorous practice now so it, it's like the fact that these things can be trendy yeah like things that are growing on our bodies come back and in um is also an interesting concept to think about and through um but like like i said power power to how anybody wants to live with their body the aesthetic piece is just a little interesting to me yeah, I, I, I completely agree with you. And look, what I love about her campaign is there are young women out there who, you know, there are some cultures that are, you know, hairier than others. And so when you're growing up and you have excess body hair and you're being bullied about it, it's really difficult to feel good about yourself. You know, I, I definitely know of people who've gone through that. And to have someone speak out so boldly about this issue makes young girls feel more comfortable in their skin, and I love that. I think that's a good thing. So that's the good part of it. I just, I want to make sure that we shy away from making people feel guilty or making people feel bad mm -hmm. for maybe other preferences that they have. There's nothing wrong with that. It's you know? true. Yeah, I mean, the attitude towards body hair, in my opinion, it is a little sexist. I, I'm part of the problem It's very now. gendered. It's very gendered. And just as uh, the attitude towards women's breasts are a little sexist as well in the society. Do you guys remember, though, um, like Vintage Playboy, where the bush was actually in? And the bush is coming back, back by in. the way. Circling oh, that was, yeah, that was the other part of it, was the pubic hair and right. the underarm, which are basically kind of the same hair. Right. Right. It's still, I, I'm part of this problem. I'm not a part of the solution. <laughs> but <laughs> is it, look, is it a problem if it's yeah. genuinely what you personally find yeah. appealing? So, I mean, all right, TMI, um, my fiancé is into one thing and I'm into something else. But I love my fiancé. I'm going to do what makes me comfortable. And, and so, I'm not going to get into specifics, but <laughs> you, you guys know what I mean. It's... You have to stay true to yourself, what you're comfortable with. I know that I personally wouldn't feel comfortable with underarm hair. Now, people might come back at me and say, yeah, because you've bought into that societal norm. Right. Maybe I have, but it's what I find appealing, and it's what I feel comfortable with, right? So 
that's really the message that I want to get through. If you're comfortable, like, letting it all grow out, do you, boo? Like, <laughs> I love you. I don't think it makes you any less attractive. I just have, you know, my standards of what I find beautiful or attractive on my own body.